Hey, everyone. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you took time to be here on this particular evening because um, we've got a special treat for you. Uh, so uh, if you're watching on Facebook and you want to come on into the chat room, you can do that. Just click on the link. I know some people were having trouble getting it to work, but I reposted it. I know it should be good. So come on in. Join us. Let's chat. Got a whole bunch of people coming in here so far. I got like 16 people or something in the Zoom chat room. It's awesome. It's just off the chain in here, you know. So come and enter at your own risk. <clears throat> so this evening, we don't have I, hundreds, so <laughs> what's that? Go ahead. Sorry, we don't have <laughs> hundreds of people now. Hundreds, hundreds, millions. <laughs> Yeah, so I was just about to say, uh, we've got a special treat this evening. Tonight we have Christina and Brad. They're both here. They're going to talk a little bit about um, this uh, shower door co-op thing we've been talking about. You've heard like rumors about. And uh, these guys have actually been kind of working behind the scenes on this. And that's something that they've actually, um, well, I'll let them tell you about it. But um, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you guys, Brad, Christina, both of you, whatever, you know, feel free to um, jump in there, uh, share, share your screen if you want, or just make yourself at home. Okay. Right. Sounds good. I'll do a quick intro just because I don't think we've ever formally introduced ourselves on this call. Maybe we have, but we've been on here for a couple of years, mostly as observers, sometimes as uh maybe unwanted participants um but never unwanted never unwanted always good thanks it's been great chris and um so anyway my name is christina alaya um i work for my good old dad at the shower door guy out of atlanta um i started with him in 2020 uh right before COVID hit the east coast and um my background is um, and consulting, business consulting, so it kind of fit. Um, I have a degree in industrial and systems engineering from Georgia Tech, and um, I asked good old dad for a job, and uh, I was burned out of my my job, and I just needed a break, and, and I never left, because as you all know, the glass industry is pretty contagious, so um, here now, and really excited to be talking about the prospect of this this co-op or group or affiliation or association. So um, dad, did you want to give a background or anything? Sure. Yeah. So actually I thought I asked you to come work for me and was really laying the hints. And uh, I thought you'd come on for a couple months and it, it stuck. So I'm glad it did. Um, and I know, you know, I've never had a chance to introduce myself either. Um, so originally I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Go Chiefs. Uh, you know, and uh, so after I went to college, uh, I was went to University of Missouri. Um, I was transferred down to Atlanta. And um, eventually I got on with a company that was kind of like what Bill Dobman was doing, I think, up in New York, where we did everything. We did the shelving. The, uh, we did like um, uh, California closet type melamine closets. We did doorknobs. We did bath accessories. There was this garage doors. We got into everything. And um, uh, during the big recession, they went under. So I had to figure out what I was going to do. Had a a uh, couple projects that kind of sustained me somewhat. And then uh, I started the shower door guy in 2011. So I uh, wasn't originally shower door guy, but I changed the name for marketability. So uh, here I am. Uh, never grew up thinking I'd be a glazer, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, um, I'll go ahead and share my screen, Dad, but you can start talking about some Sure, stuff. sure. And just for the benefit of, of, let's say, some of you guys that are on tonight but weren't on two weeks ago, um, which was October 11th, I believe. 
Uh, just going to recap a little bit about that meeting and how we got onto this because uh, we were discussing the idea of a national network or this group uh, that we could all join and benefit from. And it kind of evolved to that conversation because Bill had mentioned how we could all benefit from a network of businesses uh, that work together um, because a lot of people have multiple homes or they're moving from one state to another state and we could share those leads. And um, uh, a couple of days prior, I, you know, Christina and I were looking for a gift idea on uh, the knot uh, for a former employee, uh, who, who, um, I guess was what getting married or something, but anyway, um, <laughs> Christina and I were, were looking at all the gifts and stuff. And I thought, boy, it'd be great if we could put shower doors on that. And Christina said, well, you'd have to be national. It's a national thing. Well, I, I also recall talking to somebody way back when with Costco and it was the same story you know they said you, you would have to be a national company and be able to handle all the stores um, to, to participate in those kiosks as you exit the store and so um, anyway uh, Chris you had mentioned hey uh, you started something where we could sign up and it would be um uh, kind of this shared database of all of us where we might be able to, um, I guess, give out leads and that sort of thing. So the bottom line is we all have the same, kind of the same ideas, I think, you know, and um, uh, I, I think we all got real interested when we started thinking of the possibilities from a national scale. And, and what benefits that uh, we, we might have. I mean, we might be able to get a lot of marketing benefits and other things. And I, I'm not sure if we shared this or not, but, uh, and we'll, we'll bring this up more later, but uh, the strength of a, a website that we all network with, uh, that would help everybody, regardless of what size business you are. So uh, I, uh, I can get started on kind of the outline. Yeah. Well, what... one more point here. I just want okay. to make sure that our conversation today is basically just to lay out more detail, but not get too much into the weeds mm -hmm. so that we can uh, stick to the topics and determine, you know, whether or not we have an interest among the members to pursue this type of an organization. And um, I, I would say just based on talking to Rob this evening, and and I actually talked to Max Perlstein. It sounds like a great opportunity. So, uh, Christina, go ahead. Sure. So, yeah, we just want to keep this conversational. If there's interest, we will keep moving with it. And if there's not, that's okay. Not a big deal. Just um, a fun idea. We thought we could all kind of work together and help each other. So, um, a Brief outline of this, um, we'll talk about the org structure of a co-op or a cooperative, what that really is and how it's defined by um, the ICA, which is the International Cooperative Alliance. Um, it doesn't have to be structured this way. That just seems to have similar principles to what we're looking for, or I think what we've discussed. Um, the benefits of that for each of us um, and, and cons, you know, it has to work for us. So we have to kind of think through some of those things, but mostly look at, you know, what do we have to gain and what do we have to lose? Um, and I think there's a lot to gain here, but we'll talk through it. Um, the opportunities that this could afford us um, now starting with something small and then, you know, scaling up into maybe something more progressive from a marketing standpoint or educational standpoint. And then we'll talk about, um, you know, next steps and implementation. If we wanted to keep moving with this idea, what would we do next? And we'll have an open forum as well. I definitely want to leave enough time to talk about glass build next week because um, we're coming up on that. And Brad and I are in Atlanta. So if anybody has questions or wants to talk about Atlanta and how to pack for the weather, we can do that too. And then if anybody... Um, 
would like to reach out via Facebook Messenger or email, my email is Christina at showerdoorguy.com and Brad's is Brad at showerdoorguy.com. So feel free to contact us if you had any questions or wanted to talk more about it offline. So um, the definition of a cooperative is an autonomous association of persons united voluntarily to meet their common economic, social, and cultural needs and aspirations through a jointly owned and democratically controlled enterprise. Um, and I don't know, can you guys see this PowerPoint? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so a lot of you might have heard of co-ops. If you haven't, they're very common in agriculture and a little bit of insurance and a little bit of banking, less common in the retail space, but you have probably all heard of Ace Hardware which is technically a cooperative, it's not a franchise. So each co-op is actually owned and operated by a local business owner and they're able to use the brand of Ace Hardware, but they're not technically owned by Ace Hardware. Um, there's some kind of co-op agreement. Um, and this does not mean we need to create like a whole new brand or anything like that, the way that Ace Hardware has, it's just, an example that we all might know of nationally. And ACE is actually very successful as a cooperative. Um, they made the Inc. 300, Global 300 list. Um, they're number 82 in the world for cooperatives, which is really cool. Um, and co-ops are international and they make up a huge portion of global revenue, which I have more statistics on that, but I didn't wanna focus too much on that. I thought Ocean Spray Cranberries were pretty cool too, because that's actually a cooperative of cranberry farmers. Uh, mm. I didn't know that. So I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, so pretty neat. Um, nationwide Dairy Farmers of America, Navy, Federal Credit Union are also cooperatives. Um, and then the uh, ICA, which is the International Cooperative Alliance, uh, has these seven principles. I'll keep this brief because I know it's a little bit dry, but essentially um, voluntary and open membership. So nobody's forced to join. This is simply just a conversation and an idea that we had. Um, and we, we would have you know, specific, specific criteria though for members who wanted to join, you know, people need to be insured and things like that. And we can't just refer somebody who doesn't you know, have insurance or meet some kind of criteria and we have to be some standards right <laughs> Quality exactly. and stuff exactly. like that yeah i think we've all been snubbed by chucks and trucks but i think we all started that way in some in some ways too so you know it's something to talk about but um and we can define that later but just um number two is democratic member control so even though brad and i are presenting on this today this would be a member owned situation. There's no um, profit involved. Normally cooperatives, all the money goes back to the members or it's set aside in a pool um, to be voted on for other projects and things like that. So nobody's pockets are being lined here. It's, it's just simply an idea of um, mm -hmm. okay. that we can all vote on, you know, for everything. Um, number three is member economic participation, which there would be, you know, a small fee to get to set up a website, to have administration costs and things like that, um, and just set up the referral network and be able to maintain those standards that we talked about and check up on those. Um, and then if we wanted to get into marketing and things like that, you know, we'd then vote on that and, um, yeah, so just there would be small fees, but again, that would all be voted on. So <clears throat> autonomy and independence is number four. So everyone would still remain locally and independently owned. Um, nothing would have to change in your business unless you wanted to become a member and didn't meet a certain standard for whatever reason, but um, everyone remains the same. You don't have to change anything. Um, <clears throat> number five, I like this one a lot, education, training, and information. So we can have shower door specific information that we share with each other, just like this group, just like Chris has put together. So, um, but it would be different from the NGA and that it would be shower door specific. 
but it would also be different than this group in the sense that it would be vetted companies putting these things together. Um, kind of like the way that you guys put together the handbook this year, the manual for um, shower door installations. So we could do more of that and we can create blog posts, which would improve our search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. um, and we could uh, put up pictures that we can all share in a gallery if we wanted to. And it would also serve as training homeowners and tile partners and getting preparation done, things like that. Um, number six is cooperation amongst cooperatives, which just means that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Um, we can all benefit by working together and we're stronger because of it. And number seven is concern for community. Um, really wanting to drive home the importance of the local business that I think big box stores sometimes miss the mark on. Um, sometimes there are local needs that a local business can, can manage better than a Home Depot, a Lowe's, uh, name any other one. So, um, and we've all seen the amazing work that the Dobmans have done in Florida too. So it'd be nice to be able to do some things like that. Um, so those are the principles. They seem to align with the things that we've all discussed in the past. And so that's why a co-op seems to be a good structure, but it does not have to be a cooperative. We could also look at things like, like um, a member organization similar to NARI or NKBA or something like that. But this is just an option. So I'll pass it on to Brad to talk about other benefits. He's already touched on a lot of these, but um, just a little deeper on the benefits. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, you know, and I, I got talking, I, I called Max Perlstein a, a couple days ago and um, boy, it's just so nice to talk to him. He's just real refreshing and um, he's, you know, gives you a lot of insight. Um, and, and what he said, you know, just some of the things he said just kind of hit home with me. He said, you know, basically you have to determine what do you have to gain from joining an organization like this or starting this organization? And what do you have to lose or have to lose? And um, I guess the reality is, I, I mean, I can't think of too many things we would be losing. You know, it's just, it, it'd be something so low cost that you're not really losing anything. You just have another opportunity to put yourself out there in the marketplace. And I, I have found that in our business, every time we do more to market our business, we just strengthen everything as a whole and we just get, um, we get more leads out of it. Mm -hmm. So I think if we had another uh, website that we're tied to that could be found by prospective people out there looking for our services, then we would be the ones that would be selected if we're the member. So, um, you know, the, we just have to look at, okay, what are the gains? Well, uh, nationally branded marketability, you know, and we benefit as a local vendor or a member of, of that national brand, if we make it a brand, mm. um, which i not sure, you know, we can, talk more about that in the structure later. Um, you know, and, and there are, uh, we like print ad. I mean, I'm doing real well with home and decor and home mag. Um, and home, uh, home mag I know is national. Um, so we could actually be able to get advertisement discounts from a national scale might save us money. You know, a small investment might actually benefit us in other ways where we, we come out ahead. Never know. Um, and then the uh, extra SEO, you know, um, we're fortunate our, our website gets found very easily. And I always have a hard time though finding companies to link and backlink with. 
Google loves that linking. They love it when you are linked and backlinked with um, companies that are related in some way. But I can imagine if we have this website for this group that all of us are linking our websites to, mm -hmm. that website's going to be incredibly strong. And uh, so when somebody's searching for uh, shower doors, you know, who comes up? Lowe's, Home Depot, all these big companies that are throwing a lot of money at Google for search uh, presence, online presence. Well, if we have, if somebody's looking for shower doors and we have this one group that we're all linked to, Home Depot doesn't have that, Lowe's doesn't have that. And, uh, you know, gosh, it wouldn't be like Kohler and these other companies as well. I think we could get a website to rank extremely well organically. And if we have enough participants, it might not cost very much to uh, invest a little bit in search engine marketing, uh, the, the sponsored ads. Um, I'm not an expert at that, but these are just possibilities I'm throwing out, okay? I just think it's a, it's a great opportunity. Um, so, the lead generation on, on the website would be huge um, or could be huge. And anybody who's searching from your market might find that website and then you would be the one to get that, that lead. Um, again, if you're a member and so on and so forth. Um, so you would also have this vetted distinction. You know, it's um, you're part of this group. You can tell your prospective customers whether they found you on this network or not. Just anybody that, that you're going to that's a prospect. You could say you're part of this group. And we adhere to the National Glass Association guidelines for shower door design and installations. I think that's pretty big. It seems like that would go both ways too. I mean, like us as a group would let would lend credence to this organization and vice versa, right? I mean, it would kind of be a a reciprocal thing of where um because we have a lot of credibility, you know, just as um in our own markets, you know, uh because we're pros. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so anyway, I, I just, you know, you have that benefit of being able to be associated with that group. And let's say you haven't been in business, but a couple of years, I think that means a lot. Uh, it gives you a lot more credibility. Sure. So, um, and of course, Christina mentioned the educational resources and so on and so forth. I think that's great. Um, and that all ties in together. Um, and again, you get to maintain your independent operation. Nothing changes, mm -hmm. basically, you know. I'm assuming almost everybody here has their general liability and your workers' comp and that sort of thing. Um, you don't have to change your workflow because you're not joining a new company that has its own process. Now, there might be some softwares that you might maybe have to learn a few things, but it would, I think that would be pretty minor and, and uh, pretty simple. And that would be, if we got into software or something, that would be super down the line. I just know that um, Brad and I had kind of talked about software plugins and things like that um, because CRL is able to buy a lot of development time from companies like Smart Blazer, Smart Builder, um, because CRL has deep pockets. And there's a lot of stuff that I really want from Smart Blazer that I can't have because I don't have deep enough pockets. So if as a group, we all decided that we all wanted the same things, an app that does X, Y, or Z, you know, maybe we can band together and kind of share the cost. 
yeah, kind of get those things started and advocate for ourselves as shower door business owners. Um, because the NGA is there, which is fabulous and wonderful, but how long did it take for the, the shower door guidelines to come together? We could really expedite that with the information and knowledge that we have in this group. So um, I'll move this to the next slide. Um, Love that idea. <laughs> so um, I think just to start um, in phase one, it would be small. I mean, I think we would just decide as a group if this is something we're even interested in doing and set up the, the little business itself of what is this? Is it a cooperative? Is it a nonprofit alliance? Is it a nonprofit member organization? Is it whatever? Um, how do we set it up so that everybody kind of has a vote and democratic control and figure out how often to meet, who wants to be involved and participate, if we'd like to have a board, things like that. And that's just governance and all of that good stuff. Um, we would want to define what those actual uh, vetted vetted businesses mean. What does that mean? Are you insured? Do you pay your taxes? Do you have a certain Google rating? Are you on the Better Business Bureau? What's your done in Bradstreet? I mean, there are so many metrics we could use. Um, and so we'd want to figure all of that stuff out as a group of the people who are interested um, to start. And then we'll create a website and that'll be a referral website to begin. So that's phase one. Um, Phase two then becomes adding these educational components, improving our search engine optimization by using keywords and blog posts. All the things we've talked about on this call before. Um, developing a gallery so people can go into the gallery and say, I want a door and panel photo, but I need the door to be on the left and I need it to be satin brass hardware to show this customer who can't use their imagination for whatever reason. So I think we've all had that too and we see picture requests all the time on the Facebook page. Um, we can pursue more members and make sure that we're maintaining, you know, all the qualifications that we put in place at the beginning. Um, and Rob Gomez has been really, really helpful with trying to figure out how he's going to set that up. And I think he's going to use a, some version of the follow-up software to do that. So that would be pretty cool. And then phase three, if we had a solid enough baseline of members that can coat the nation and really be a nice referral network. And this might be a couple years down the line, but phase three would be the marketing aspect. Um, and again, all that would be voted on, but we could pursue partnerships with tile companies, national tile companies. We can look at advertising opportunities to get nationwide discounts, like Brad was saying, with print advertising, TV advertising, and radio, um, or not. Uh, but we can also negotiate with suppliers. You know, if we're part of this organization, you get a 1% discount just for knowing your crap. You know, um, you're not a liability to your suppliers anymore, and you know what you need. Um, Things like that. I don't know. So that that's kind of the projected flow and direction that we'd like to move in, maybe. And, and this could change, obviously. Um, but the next the next thought is how do we actually do this? I already kind of talked about this. Um, I have a lot of sources if anybody's interested. And um, that's, that's what we've got here. So um, Again, I'd like to keep this productive, conversational, and we'll take notes uh, so, so we can go back and figure out where the holes are. I think there are a lot of questions and a lot of holes. Um, does anybody have any thoughts, feelings? Thank you. Uh, for your Christina, thank you for putting this together. It's really good. Mm -hmm. You did a lot more than I expect you to do. And one week's time or two weeks' time. Yeah, there'll be, I, I think you're spot on with just about every highlight that you have there. Uh, I think the important thing is the implementation of how we're going to do it. We are spread out, but there's certain areas of the country where there's two or three guys stacked on top of themselves. 
So you'll have to decide there where we're not stepping on toes. But we do want it, uh, we want it to be for everybody that's legitimate, that is a true professional. One of the things you talked about, the big box stores throwing a lot of money into their websites so that they can get rankings and they're followed up with Kohler and some of the suppliers that throw money into it. But the whole key is us. You know, you can yeah. buy a door at the, at the big box and you still got to get somebody to put it in. Mm -hmm. And in most states, you'd still need a licensed guy to put it in. So their business is nothing without us. And we need to be mm -hmm. strong on that. And I think you really want to focus and call it the Shower Door Professionals Cooperative. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and then a blurb about each one is a locally owned, giving back to its own community uh, that is fully licensed and insured for whatever county or region that they're in. Now, the next part is on your vetting, you have to have a, a scorecard or at least something to go on to say, okay, this guy, he doesn't have a license, but his county doesn't require a license. He doesn't need to have a license for whatever reason, but do they have workers comp? Do they have insurance? Are they a legitimate company? So those are the things that you do have to, to vet. Somebody has got to be the bad guy. <laughs> but I, I think Brad was, was right. There's really nothing to lose. So time mm -hmm. is about it. The amount of time that you put into it. Other than that, it's a win-win for everybody, including the consumer. So it's great. I'm all on board. Wow. That means a lot, Bill. Thank you. Yeah, great job. Great job. Mm -hmm. Just thinking outside the box a little bit, and Max Perlstein made that a point that, you know, with the economy being the way that it is or can be in the future, with the wars going on and the national debt going up, we're going to have to really, you know, think outside the box. We can do that. I, I've seen people in this group come up with some really clever things. And as a group, I think we can do a great job and we can help elevate people that maybe they're great shower door installers, but just not good marketers. Mm -hmm. This is gonna help them. It is. I mean, I learned, I had to learn from scratch. And there's a lot of people that are in that same phase with you know one truck, two trucks. They don't have time to do that. They're still answering phone calls and measuring jobs. We could produce, I mean, I just hired probably the best videographer around that we just started last week. Mm. We could probably produce some killer material to share. Wow. Killer. That'd be awesome. Yeah. There's a quote I heard um, actually recently, I'm embarrassed to say it's a common quote, but a rising tide raises all ships. And I think that as, as an industry, we kind of raise the bar. We are all going to move up together. I think that's really important in creating demand and in creating awareness that our industry exists. I mean, when I tell people that I do shower doors, they think that that's a niche business, but you look at all of us and it, it's kind of a niche, but it's not really, I mean, everyone needs a shower door. Mm -hmm. If I mean, yeah. most people need a shower door. So Christine, if I heard, if I had a dime for everybody that asked me a question, like you make a living selling shower doors, you know, I'd be rich just off of those comments. <laughs> yeah. But, it, right. but it's crazy. But when you do something and you're really good at it, you can be that niche business. Mm -hmm. Look at it this way. There's a guy, it's a heart doctor. He only works on hearts. That's it. Why, you know, why not be a general practitioner and work on everything? Well, if I had a heart problem, I don't want to go to a general practitioner. So I don't want to go to the generalized glass guy. I want to go to a shower door professional. So that's the same analogy I use all the time. You know, if I bought a Mercedes, I want to go to the Mercedes dealership or somebody that's been trained on Mercedes, not just the everyday mechanic. That's right. So, so while we're at the, oh, go ahead, Bill. Sorry. No, it's the same thing. I'm just aware that the, the big key to what you were saying is awareness, awareness that we're available and we're there and we're in your hometown. Brad was saying that he has success with, um, I think he said home decor. I don't know if you meant home decor or floor and decor, no. but those okay. type of chains, we can, 
we can help those chains. Absolutely. So at this phase, you might have seen a couple of weeks ago, um, Rob and Chris put out a form to sign up if you have an interest in a referral network group. And if you weren't on that call, you might not have known um, what that was for. And even if you were, it was kind of at the end. Um, so we just wanted to provide a little bit more color to kind of where this could go, what we're thinking. So if you have any interest, if any of this has appealed to you at all, um, I would encourage you all to sign up on that form. Um, Rob or Chris, if you would, wouldn't mind reposting it. Rob just posted it to the chat. So go ahead and look in the chat, it's there. Well, he posted two. Which one is the one you're supposed to go to? Um, the experts link is for the, okay. um, it has the slides that Christina just shared, as well as the form to sign up for um, the initial stage so that we can get everyone's inquiries and gauge interest in the group. Um, feel free to text the number or email the the communication that you get with any ideas, input, what you want to help with. That way it's all collected in one place and we can compile that for everyone to see. Uh, the other link, the uh, shower door professionals one, is if anyone wants to sign up for reminders to this call or wants to sign up for the newsletter. Uh, what the newsletter is, is simply a recap of this call. If anyone on Zoom in here can see, there's a glass gadget chat um, bot that is a guest with us on this call. Uh, and it, it all it does is summarize it for us. And I tweak a little bit. Me and Chris edit it over the weekend so we can deliver a newsletter to y'all every Monday. And it's simply a good summary of the call, any highlights and a link to what you might have missed. We hope to continue making it helpful to include video clips of the best parts of the call. That way it's easier for people that are busy to get the best insights and the best tips um, from what was discussed without having to necessarily um, be here on time every time. So, so it's Rob, time consuming being here. Yes. yes. <laughs> so Rob, I'm filling this out now. Does this go back to you? Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, I will set it to notify Christina and Brad. And as more people get into the group, we'll add it to a Google sheet that everyone can see all in one place. As anyone has any ideas of where we can collectively discuss and see this info, um, I can build that out as we go. OK, just because the info I'm putting on here isn't what's going to be published, correct? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's going to the first stage of the database that's just for gauging interest. Yeah. And then there's about seven other stages. We'll walk it through all together on separate calls. Everyone will see this data. Nothing's um, going to get published anywhere in the immediate future. I mean, there's it's going to be a while before we're putting anything out to the public. This is just we're gaining interest. We're seeing how many of y'all want to participate in it. Um, so yeah, I don't worry about anything, any of your info getting posted anywhere. And uh, if um, <laughs> anybody's interested in i mean i don't know if we want to talk about it on these calls or if it needs to become a subgroup of people who are know for sure they're definitely interested in being i don't know a board member or committee member or something like that um we can start there maybe just let us know um and we're going to have a separate url it's not necessarily going to be glass experts that's just what we have available to us mm -hmm. right now um we can talk about a name, we can talk about a logo um, or branding if we wanted to. And uh, this is just to add color to that last 10 minute conversation a couple of weeks ago. Now, now Rob, did you get uh, that um, website URL from us today? I did not get that email, but um, as by next week or over the, um, over the next day or two, we will republish the link for everyone to sign up and both will work. So this one won't be invalid and it'll be the general branded one. Hopefully we can spin up a real quick logo that everyone agrees on. We'll change it 10 times if we need. But I like the idea of doing it fast, doing it quick, instead of waiting for it to be See, perfect. I'm all about that, man. Let's go. Well, we jump out of the plane first. <laughs> we build it on the way down. That's, that's my vibe. Um, <laughs> but all your information, we can quickly, once we agree, this form is going to collect your pictures, your links, your highlights, your pages. And we can add more things to this form or remove them as I want for stage one of, of questions. And, and we can make this as thorough as you, as you want to keep building it out. And it'll be super easy for all of us to, to see it. Don't worry about anything being published. Like we said, it's, it's all going to be group member permission based. And 
uh, a general domain that is group owned, not uh, owned by any one source of people. So is there anybody on this call that would not want to participate in this? And, and if so, why? Uh, I got a quick subject or uh, quick question. Now, I don't know it's kind of, you know, I don't want to be mean to anybody, you know, but I, go I ahead, be mean. Be mean. I, I don't yeah. Care yeah. What's different about so, today? Honestly, honestly, I see this being an advantage for a lot of people. Like I could see the benefit. But I think that people that you know work out of their homes or work, work from the home, I think I think there has to be kind of a line where you got to have a an off uh, like a storefront or something because yeah. Honestly, with people that work from their home, they already have an advantage over people that have overhead. And they don't charge, you know, they, they don't have to think about their, you know, paying rent or paying employees or paying, you know, you know, a secondary, you know, um, structure, you know, where, where you have your business. I think that for something like this, I think you have to be a requirement where you have to have, you should, you know, one of those have to be a requirement. If you work from your home, I'm sorry, you're disqualified. I know it's kind of mean, but you know, I don't think that's benefit. mean at all. I think that's totally I, reasonable. Yeah, and you know, part of the vetting process. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and for you to, because like I said, they already have an advantage over you know the the person down the street that has you know their business, you know that has his storefront, whatever. And I think you know this is a great idea. I love it. It's a great idea, but there has to be kind of a. You know, qualifications, sorry. right? There's got to be some yes. qualifications. That's what we're talking. Yeah, and if you want to mm-hmm. join it, uh, you know, and we're not going to go see. Oh, do you have a business? You know, you know, but you know, maybe they got to set a picture and some other, you know, um, proof that you know. Oh, yeah, you know, I have a storefront. Or I have something. You know, it's just, you know, just don't sign up for anybody. I mean, yeah, we we I completely agree with you, and we definitely want to make some struck like some principles of rules, some guidelines, something that make us different, that make our companies, I would say, exceptional. I mean, because because this is going to make all of us look, you know, it's going to be, we got to, how can I say it? Uh, it's going to, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. It could oh, be yeah. a liability for a national brand. It can be a liability yeah. for a national brand if one of us drops the ball. Yeah. So th- that or, yeah, and then it'll make us look all bad as a whole group, you know. Uh, let's say, oh, I, you know, I had so and so come and do a, a shower door. Yeah, he was, you know, five hundred dollars or less, but you know, he did a bad job. Didn't want to come back to adjust a hand or something like that. Then that looks bad on all of us, you know. You know, if you have somebody, you have someone that has a storefront, a business. Hey, they go to their door. Hey, man, you effed up on my shower door. Come fix it. You know, it's, you know, and it's like, you know, it, it, we, you know, we can't hide. You know, it's it's kind of a people that work at their home. They can hide. They can, you know find our phone and ignore the call you know it's us some of us we can't do that you know yeah that's to. a good point adrian yep. I, I like that and i i don't think that's a problem because we i think we're all on the same page there you know vetting people out and i don't think it has to be real real stringent in all respects but um i think uh there are basic requirements like the insurance and yeah exactly yeah. Well, when people was saying that the insurance and all that stuff i mean we all work hard to get where we're at and you know for somebody to come and and not you know sort of you know not you know benefit from this when they're already benefiting from you know not you know not having you know what we have you know some of us have you know yeah. right well that's right. not that's- unprecedented either because there's uh there's glass companies glass suppliers that won't deliver to or support um, companies that don't have a business address mm-hmm. uh, because yeah. of, of that competition thing, because they're taking well, the- advantages uh, or, uh, away from their other, um, their other customers, I guess. Well, mm-hmm. see, but like, 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 like down in Los Angeles, for instance, there's a ton of glass suppliers over there. I mean, a lot of people just go in and do a will call and just pick them up straight from there. They don't have to have a uh, a business. They'll just go back up their truck to the big door, load up their glass, and go work. You know, it's, so that's another. You know, I don't know how many um, these bigger cities. You know, um, bigger um, areas. You know, 
they have that same advantage, you know. They don't have to have a building. You know, they don't have to have that address because they'll just go pick it up. Mm -hmm. That's what Christina was calling the schmuck in the truck. Schmuck in the truck. No schmuck in the truck. (laughs) Well, I mean, I I don't know how much you guys sell a crescent slider for just a fixed panel and one moving door with a crescent. But, you know, it's an expensive, nice slider. And we have guys in our area that we directly compete with who sell them for half the price of what we sell them for, but they aren't insured. They I, sell it for 20, I, sell, I sell it for 2,900 bucks installed. Nice. nice. So and we're mm. a little bit less than that, but yeah, I mean, it's up there and we have people in our market selling them for 1,200. They're mm. just making wages and that's okay, but that's not our national brand as a group. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, good absolutely. for them, you know, do your thing, but that they can't, yeah, but that one resources. We're not coming to our per- party. Yeah. Yeah, that one person <laughs> has to do do you know a volume of work in a day to make out what we make. And like me, I can do two shower doors in a day. I'm good. You know, we're that's a that's a good money day. These other guys, they have to do you know they got to work from morning to night basically to make out what we do. So it's oh yeah. So we can look at, and we can have a separate meeting for this. I don't want to go down too far, but, um, you know, we can talk about uh, taxes. We can talk about having a certain annual revenue requirement. We can talk about local, regional, um, or national um, certifications, qualifications, or licenses. We can talk about how long your warranty is, and we can talk about um, if you have a standalone shop. And uh, all those things are, are qualifiers that we can look at. If your Google review is trash, if it's like 2.5, you know, I, I get it. We've all had a customer who's yelled at us before, but your Google review can't be 2.5 mm-hmm. in my opinion. So we can look so this at it. So basically what we're looking at something like that, you're looking like, like a, we used to do a lot of auto glass. I mean, you still have to go through the second part of like a, like a safe light or a, uh, I forget what the other one, links. And so if you're looking for a shower door, it's just, it, it's just sort of, is it something like that where you're trying to do? Is, is that what you're trying to do? Like you just call this one number and no. trying to, trying to understand where. Um, it's still, I mean, we're still in the very yeah. early stages. There's not, nothing has been decided. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. So, so we're just, just talking about it now. So it's like all of these things will be decided by the group that decides to participate in it. That's um, a good idea. I yeah, it. it'll, we'll, ha- we'll hash it all out, you know. But yeah, like I say, I mean, nothing's been decided. Um, but, you know, one thing I do want to say is it's like, you know, like what Rob was saying earlier, I, I'm, you know, we're, we're, we're kids of spirits, man. It's like, I like to just go. I was like, got an idea. I just run with it. I'll figure it out as I'm going. If it doesn't work, I'll go on to the next thing, you know? And it's like, this is a thing that we've been talking about. People, it's come up over and over again. Oh yeah, we should do that. Oh yeah, we should do that. And that's what we do, you know? And then, and then, um, yeah, it kind of gets dropped and it doesn't come up again. But when we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, shortly after that, I got an email from Christina saying, hey, we really want to be involved in, um, in this. We really want to take a leadership role in this. This is something that's dear, near and dear to our hearts. Um, so, like, please allow us, you know, me and my dad to be a part of this thing, you know. And it's like you can see by their presentation that they've already put some work and some um, research and some effort into this. And it's like, we are so blessed, in my opinion, to have these guys here in our group who are like, who obviously already have a passion for this, who've already been looking at some different ways to organize it, have some opinions about what's going to be a good way, but are very humble, you know, about like, not trying to, you know, force anything or or um, making it really clear that uh, we want to just be open to to everybody's um, ideas and suggestions and questions and all that. It's like, I don't think we could do better. Yeah. And, and these are people we know, right? These are people we've known for 
for years. We've been meeting together and talking together. So it's like, uh, I'm just stoked and blown away and just really excited um, that uh, Brad and Christina are willing to take such a leadership role in this. And, you know, of course, you know, you can count on me to, you know, for, for all my help and support, whatever I can do. And I know, I, I mean, there's a lot of people here. I mean, Bill, you know, you got, you know, uh, a resounding endorsement from Bill. I mean, I don't know what more you need um, than that, but it's like, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks. You know, thanks for being willing to do that because a lot of the times it's like, Hey, you know, people know that I'm like, yeah, I don't, not, I'm not like blowing my own horn or anything. It was like, I, I like to do stuff, you know, I like to run with stuff, you know? So a lot of times people were like, Hey, I've got a great idea. Chris Phillips will do it. You know? <laughs> so it's like, they call me up. It's like, Hey, I've got a great idea. Why don't you do it? And it's like, well, dude, I'm already doing some stuff. <laughs> but it's well, like for people to pe for people to step up and be like, Oh, we're willing to like, actually, you know, put some boots on the ground and do this, man. That That's awesome. Thanks, Chris. And Chris, I don't know if everybody knows this, but Chris has volunteered his time to do shower door professionals to get the call set up, to get this group going for years um, and doing the newsletter every week. I can't even imagine. So um, between you and Rob now, um, I'm glad to hear you at least have the AI helping you out with that newsletter, but that's, um, it's pretty amazing. And uh Again, yeah, this is this is not a for profit situation. This is just so that we can all raise demand and awareness of our industry um, and promote our ourselves and as a group. So um, if you are interested, please go ahead and fill out that form. Um, we'll figure out, depending on how many people fill out the form, next steps, um, and we'll be in touch uh, with that. And um, yeah, anybody... great point. Because if like if only five people fill out the form, we're probably like this is probably as far as it's going to go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know, right here, you know. But I mean, if we have like there's like you know north of twenty five hundred people in the group on Facebook, you know, if like uh, if a thousand of those are real companies <laughs> that do shower doors. And um, most of them were to get on board, man, we'd, we'd have something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's- For I clarification, if really we signed up already, uh, if we signed up already uh, last week or whenever it was, is that already in there or do I need to sign up again? No, if you signed up, you're signed up. We got you. Okay, I just wanted to clarify, thanks. And if you wanna take yourself out after this presentation, <laughs> no, I get it too. I mean, this is really a, a different situation. It's different. So, um, but just keep in touch, communicate. We'll make sure all the information gets to all the people that it needs to get to. And um, we only have a few minutes left, six minutes left. So, so I, I had I a quick. Would like to also make a plea for anybody that would be interested in being a participant in getting this off the ground. You know, R Rob's already actually, you know, discussed uh, or, or he's already put forth some effort into this already using his software. And uh, that's gonna be a key component to all this. Yeah, he um, doesn't let any grass grow under his feet. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. You guys are so, hit the ground running kind of guys. Yeah. So we're a little bit slower over here, but. But okay. we could probably use a little help. Is, is all I'm saying. Yeah, you can, you know you can count on me. I see Bill Bill posted the chat. He's he's willing to help. You know, I'm I'm definitely you know on board. Of course, you know. Um, cool. so you can dream it. I can build it. Um, yeah. and whenever I hear your idea, I don't wait for your permission. I go and build it and <laughs> come and show it to you and say, "Hey, look what I built." And most people look at the plane and say, "Hey, that color's wrong." I'm like, "You're missing the point that we just built a plane real fast. Let's." fly it and go to the next step. So um, yeah, I'm all about building it in a week, not in four months when everyone agrees. And like, as we get collection and get members, it'll turn into the democratic vote as y'all talked about. And the only people's opinions that will matter is the people who raise their hand and say, I want my voice to be heard. And, and we'll make everything completely transparent through the software and through Google Sheets or through CRMs. However, you're, more, you're most comfortable reading data, we'll present it to you in that way because we don't really... Mm -hmm. 
build a system that's this is the way it is mm -hmm. get used to it or get get out of the way it's more like what how do you want to participate here's how we're gonna craft the experience for you so you feel included christina let me make a suggestion that if you get enough people or you want to go ahead what we did with the shower door guide the installation guide is we set every other friday aside for individualized group meetings uh, if this wants to get some speed as everybody wants to get going, I would say set aside a convenient time at least once a week, carve out an hour, uh, and we can do a Zoom call. Throw the ideas there, then someone quarterback it and put everything together. Good. Yeah, love it. Yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, uh, there's really not enough time you know, on this call, I mean, it, it's what we would, it would consume the whole call every week, you yeah. know, and try to do it here, but right. we'll just kind of do it separately like that. I saw Brian was, Brian, you were going to say something. Do you, do you remember what it was? I do. I, the, the one thought that I had, um, which, and I know it's early on and, and it's not time to make these decisions at this current point in time, but in areas where there would be multiple uh, companies and shops, there would, I guess, need to be thought of how you would divide up the area, whether it would be by region, by radius, by county. Um, you know, that would be one thing that I would be interested in, in hearing more about, I guess. That was That's what a thought great, that came to mind. Yeah, that is a great question. Great point. Yeah, we will probably have to noodle through that and and present that in one of these meetings so that everybody sure. could understand exactly how that's going to work. We don't know exactly. I've been noodling through that all along. Even tonight on this call, I'm sitting here thinking about that very topic. Mm -hmm. But um, we we will have to get back on that. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, the glass show is coming up, and I think this would be a good time to even promote it. Uh, if, if any of you guys are going to be at the glass show, uh, as you meet other people that are shower door people from around the country, this would be awesome to pitch. Mm. You know, uh, I think we're going to need to have several dozen companies at least to get started with. Yeah. Um, you know, I would love to see this group get started with a couple hundred if that's possible. Yeah. Um, you know, and then grow from there. Uh, but boy, my gosh, if we had a thousand members, let's say a year from now, uh, that's going to be an incredible website. No kidding. Uh, you know, it's going to be just a really good organization building. So. Well, feel free to post, um, you know, on the Facebook group, uh, you know, any anything you want to about that. Um, uh, we can even, I don't know, maybe we could set up a discussion, some discussions there and stuff. But yeah, feel free. Don't don't be shy about putting links up there and stuff like that. And uh, LinkedIn, all of that. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for the time. Yep. Yeah. Great job, guys. That was great job. That was fantastic. Exciting. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, you heard it here first. Shower door professionals kicking some butt. All right, everybody. Have a great week. We will see, see you ya. next Wednesday. You're going to be there next Wednesday, even with the glass show. You're going to oh. have it. Hmm. I don't know. Should we take a week off? Not a week last show. We'll be here. No, there's a lot of guys that aren't going. Yeah, you, know, you guys should on, check right? in from the glass show. I'm not going to be there. So you should be like, yeah, take your phone to the glass show. <laughs> well, see, the, the show will be closed. I'll be checking in from my bar. So. Oh, that's true. It'll be closed. <laughs> it's later there. Yeah. There quite a few events on Wednesday night, but happy to check in. <laughs> cool. You guys are awesome. All right. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you next time. Thanks, guys. Right. Good night. Good night.